So we're going to look at Koto ni Suguru pattern in this video, but before we do that, let's look at, uh, think about the term koto, which is used for intangible things, things that are not concrete. Uh, it has lots of uses, but that's one of the main uses, and I'll look at it. Let's look at how it's used in that way. For example, Natsuyasumi ni iroiro na koto ga shitai desu. During summer vacation, there are various things that I want to do. So things, you can actually translate it as things. If, you, if it were uh, physical objects, you might use the word mono. That's the kanji for mono. Iroiro na mono wo kaitai desu. There are various things I want to buy. Those are tangible, concrete things, so you use mono. Iroiro na koto ga shitai desu. Things I want to do. Shinu mai ni yatte mitai koto ga takusan arimasu. There are lots of things I want to try doing. Yatte miru, yatte miru. To try doing before I die. You can say, Tabete mitai mono ka takusanimasu. There are lots of things I'd like to eat that are going to be tangible things rather than actions, for example. Ani no oboite iru koto wa, watashi no oboite, oboite iru koto ga to chigaimasu. So A to B wa chigaimasu, so A wa B to chigaimasu. So A is different from B. So the things that my brother remembers and the things that I remember, so what my brother remembers and what I remember are different. Uh, you can also uh, say a certain noun and describe it in a sentence in a short form and a quote this at the end. You can't, if you want to talk about your hobbies, uh, say your hobby is knitting sweaters, you can't say, watashi no shimi wa seta wa mimasu. That doesn't work. You have to say, watashi no shimi wa Seta o amu koto desu. Right? It makes it into a, a, a thing, an action. It becomes a noun. Shimi is a noun as well, so uh, this is the X Y Y this basic sense. Watashi no yume wa okane mochi ni narimasu. My dream is to become rich. Okane mochi, yeah. Say, watashi no yume wa okane mochi ni naru koto desu. Put it in the short form, and I koto desu, koto da. Uh, in the non-past, a sentence, say, koto ga aru, uh, means there are times when certain things happen. Kurasu ni dare mo konai koto ga arimasu. Dare mo konai, no one comes. There are times when no one comes to class. Shukudai o wasureru koto wa arimasen. If you want to say there are never times when I do something, like I never forget my homework, you use koto wa arimasen. The wa is contrastive. Uh, for experiences, the past tense, of a short sentence, short form sentence. Koto ga aru. Kuma no miku wo tabeta koto ga arimasu. I have eaten bear meat before. Kuruma wo nusumareta koto ga arimasu. I have had my car stolen. Nusumareta, passive form of to steal. I had my car stolen before. Futsuka yoi ni natta koto ga arimasu ka? So it's a question, have you ever? Have you ever had a hangover? Uh, there are lots of koto, koto patterns, right? Short form uh, plus koto ga dekiru to be able to do something. So this is an alternate way to use the potential form. For example, doko de yasui biru o nomu koto ga dekimasu ka? Where can you drink cheap beer? Koko de arabia ko benkyo suru koto ga dekimasu. You can study Arabic here. Watashi wa biori suru koto ga dekimasen. I cannot cook. Kurasu se watashi wa ryori ga dekimasen. And finally, koto ni shimashita, to decide to do something. Uh, because the decision has already been made, the shimashita, shimashita is in the past tense, but what comes before is always in the non-past. Because when the decision is made to do something in the future, right? Uh, uh, even so, uh, even if it's, the decision has already been carried through, uh, you use the non-past um, to describe it as a thing that happened, and the shimashita indicates that it's happened, if the decision has been made. Kyo wa ofuro ni haitte hayaku neru koto ni shimashita. I've decided to, today, to take a bath and go to bed early. Watashi no neko to onaji mono wo taberu koto ni shimashita. I've decided to eat the same thing, onaji mono, as my cat. I've decided to eat the same thing as my cat. So that's uh, kotoni shimashita, that's part of the kotoni sifu pattern that we study in this particular grammar pattern. For example, atarashii apato ni hikoshita ra inu o tao koto ni shimashita. 
So I've decided to get a dog when I move into my new apartment. Let's decide to forget about yesterday's kenka, yesterday's fight. Fuyu is to make a rule of something, to make a rule of not eating dessert, because over the course of the winter I got a little bit fat. Look at the first one of those. Uh, short form non pass, it can be affirmative or negative, koto ni shimashita, to decide to do something. Kanojo to wakare, wakare koto ni shimashita. I decided to break up with my girlfriend. I've decided not to do my homework. Is that okay? E, e is ka? Uh, some more. I've decided to turn on the heater even if it's not cold. Samukunakutemo hita o tsukeru koto ni shimashita. Hima hindu question. Did you decide to do that interview with Nintendo? Nintendo no mensetsu wo ukeru koto ni shimashita ka? We decided not to speak English this year. Kotoshi ego wo hanasanai koto ni shimashita. You do this in the negative as well. I decided not to continue graduate school. Daigaku mi no tsuzuke nai koto ni shimashita. Let's look at the homework. Workbook 100 page. 1. みちこさんは来年試験を受けることにしました。2。たけしさんは今年就職しないことにしました。3。レポートの締め切りが明日なので、ジョンさん徹夜することにしました。京子さんは大学を卒業してから留学することにしました。病気になるかもしれないから保険に入ることにしました Part 2, you have to fill in your own answers. For example, ボーナスをもらったから美味しいレストランに行くことにしました 風邪をひいたので仕事を休むことにしました 雨が止んだので外でピクニックしましょう優勝したいから たくさん練習することにしました。日本語が上手になりたいので、毎日日本語を勉強することにしました。ナンバー3、アメリカ。私たちアメリカにいるので、外でピクニックをすることにしました。A related but slightly different form of the koto ni suru is koto ni shiteiru. Which is used to make a habit of doing or make a rule of doing. It can be affirmative or negative, and it always is in the non past, right? The shtegir is something that's ongoing. For example, my nichi skoshi demo undo surukoto ni shteru. Every day, skoshi demo, even a little, I'm trying to make a point of exercising. Ie dewa shigoto no stress o kanji nai koto ni shtegir. I make a point of not feeling work related stress at home. 自分で全部払うことにしている As a rule, I pay for everything myself. 自分で全部払うことにしています So how do we say this? I make a point of riding the subway. 地下鉄に乗ることにしている And I make a habit of not eating anything after 10 p.m. 10時以降何も食べないことにしている 10時過ぎに何も食べないことにしている after 10 p.m. 10 o'clock, I guess. Yeah. I'm trying not to say bad things about my coworkers. It's really tough. Dōryō Check out the homework. Workbook 101ページ。1。1。毎日走ることにしている。2。安全じゃないところに行かないことにしている。3。1日に3回歯を磨くことにしている。4。人の悪口を言わないことにしている。5。週に1回両親に電話をかけることにしている。プラス 1週間に1度両親に 
電話をかけることにしている。6病気でも授業を休まないことにしている。7弟が嘘をついても怒らないことにしている。教祖生。弟に嘘をつかれても怒らないことにしている。ファイナルフォームです。ことにしよう、ことにしましょう。Which we don't really study in the book. We don't have to memorize, but it's useful. Let's plan on doing something. Let's agree to do this.、Right? アイスを食べに行くことにしよう。結婚せずまで誰とも寝ないことにしましょう。この間の裏切りを忘れることにしましょう。So this is a softer form than using my show alone、uh, for seeking agreement on something. です週末、映画を見ることにしましょう。今月、残業しないことにしましょう。はい、君、ファンブレモンです。